Hello, welcome to your in my kitchen. Today we are making double berry jam. This is a very refreshing and easy to make recipe. This jam takes very few ingredients, so let's quickly look at them. We need around 450 grams of strawberry, 170 grams of raspberry. I have washed the berries and kept them on kitchen towel so all the water get drained before I start preparing the jam. Now cut the strawberries into cube pieces like this. We will chop all the strawberries like this. Once the strawberries are chopped, keep them in a bowl. Shift the raspberries to a bowl from the kitchen towel. Squeeze out around 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. Take out any seeds or pulp. Take half cup of sugar. The amount of sugar completely depends on how sour or sweet the berries are. As you see, I have taken less here, but I'll be adding more later. Heat a pan. Once it's medium hot, add the strawberries. Add the raspberries. Gently mix them. Once they start sweating, mash them with a potato masher or a ladle. Take a bigger pan than this, so working with the berries will be much easier. And keep mashing them till they are done. Once they are mashed, let it cook on medium flame. After around 10 minutes, add the sugar and mix it very well. Mash it some more. And now reduce the flame and let it cook till it reaches a jam like consistency level. Once it reduces in quantity, check if it is sweet enough. If not, add more sugar to bring it to the desired level of sweetness. Stir it all up and let it cook till it's thicken. When it's almost done, add the lemon juice. Mix it well and let it simmer again. As it becomes thicker and darker in color, it's time to turn off the heat. Once this cools down, you can grind it into a smooth texture. But I enjoy having the chunks of berries in my jam, so I leave it as it is. Once the jam cools down completely, transfer it to a sterilized airtight container and refrigerate it to make it last longer. You can also add blackberry to it and make it triple berry jam. And this jam is ready to enjoy it with toasted bread, paratha or even with oatmeal or pancake. If you find this recipe useful, do give this a like and share. For more such videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon with another favorite of mine. Till then, take care. Bye.